If you haven't watched the past couple of training videos on the if and or functions, you want to watch them because otherwise this one's not going to make sense because I want to combine or nest one function within the other. And the example that I have here is I want to be able to set up promotions if they meet certain conditions. Now I don't want something that just says true or false, but if I did, I could use the and or the or functions. But with the if function, as you recall in the previous training video, I can be more descriptive and say, happy days, hey, you get a promotion, or you get bagel, you get zero. In any case, to go ahead and set this up, hit equals and type in if, and we're going to be taking the if function and nesting the and function in the first example here. So with it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop open the if function, and what's the logical test? Well, if I just use the if function, it gives me one test. But if I type in and after it, and with it highlighted, hit the tab key, then I can get multiple tests within that one test in the if function. Because the order of operations says that you have to do what's inside of it first, and I can have a thousand tests, okay, or quite a few. And then once it's done performing all the tests, then I'll come back out into the if function saying, okay, it meets the and function results. Or what are the results of the and function and see if it passed that test. So the logical test that I want to set up is it has to be, let me select cell E6, greater than, we'll do 500,000 again, and then comma, now we're still inside the AND function, not the IF, the AND. So we go to the next logical test, and we can say that for the years of service, which is cell D6, has to be greater than, let's say, 5. Then when I'm done, I want to close the parentheses, and then it goes to the outer function, which is the IF, because we closed off the AND. So the logical test is two functions, is two tests within the IF function because we use the AND function, it's nested and snuggled right in there in the logical test. So we're able to get around that by using the AND function. Instead of one test, now we get two. And then we want to go ahead and hit comma to say, okay, what's next if it's true, if it meets both of these conditions? We'll go ahead and do open quotes and say happy days. And then comma to go to the last one to say if it's false, then let's do open quotes and say, or zero. Well, the bagel's the same shape as a zero, right? In any case, when we're done, we can go ahead and close the outer set of parentheses and hit enter. Oh, he gets bagel. Let's go ahead and select the cell, bottom right-hand corner, hover over it to get the black cross, the autofill handle, double-click really fast, and only one is able to have a happy day, and that's Homer. He's such a good employee. Now, in this next example, I want to do a nested if within an if within an if. Sound crazy? Okay. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and calculate the final grade for all their tests, the average between the two. To do that, we'll hit equals IF. With it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. What's the first logical test? Well, it's going to be the average, which has to be greater than, let's say, a 90. A 90 or above is an A. So if it meets that, hit comma. And then if it's true, open quotes, A, close quotes, comma. And then what do we do if it's false? If it's false, then let's perform another test. Let's type in IF. Ooh, this is getting kind of kooky. With it highlighted, hit the tab key. You really got to focus on this. So what's the logical test? Well, if this cell is greater than, let's do 80. Then comma, what happens if it's true? We give them a B, comma, and then if it's false, okay, we got to go to the next step. Another if, because, you know, we still have a few more letters, like to get a C, D, and F. With it highlighted, hit the tab key. And what's that logical test? Well, it's going to be the same cell again. It's got to be greater than this time. It's got to be 70, comma. Then it goes to the next argument. It's bold. If it's true, open quotes, we'll give them a C, close quotes, comma. And then if it's false, we'll do an if again. Whew, this could be quite time consuming. And then with the highlighted, hit the tab key. And let's just say you get A, B, C. I mean, you can do D if you want. Let's just go right to F. And we're going to do the same cell. It's got to be greater than, let's do 60, comma, and then if it's true, we'll give them a D, and if it's false, ugh, anything that doesn't meet those conditions, we'll just go right into open quotes, F, close quotes, and then now we have to close this off correctly because we have a total of one, two, three, four parentheses on the left, so we need a total of one, two, three, four parentheses on the right. Hit enter and let's see what he gets. A B, oh, that's not too bad. Let's select the cell, bottom right hand corner, get the black cross, double click really fast, and hey, the only one who got an A is Danny. Let's go ahead and mess this up a bit to see if it works. If somebody got a really low score, 
like let's say Homer got down to the 50s for this one, so it averages down to, well, 60 or greater than is going to be a D, but what if he got even less than that or failed to take it and got zero? Well, he's got his F. If you want a quick review, just go ahead and double click on it and see if it makes sense. You have the first if, if it meets this test, then they get an A. The false part says, let's do an if again. And then if it meets that part, they get a B. When false, then let's do the if again. And then do the if again until finally at the end, we're done with it. Just give them an F. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.